John 16, 8-16, The Holy Spirit conversing people to accept the Lord Jesus. And when he cometh, he will convince the world of sin, and of righteousness and of judgment. From sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more. And of the judgment, because the prince of this world is judged already. I still have much to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when that spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of himself, but will speak all that he has heard, and he will tell you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will receive of what is mine, and he will proclaim it. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I have told you that you will receive what is mine and will tell you a little, and you will not see me. And again a little, and ye shall see me. Because I go to the Father. John 16, 7-16 Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the word of God together with you, in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, in the presence of the Lord Jesus, and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Throughout creation, God acted in conjunction with the Son and the Holy Spirit. In Genesis it is written that the earth was without form and void, and the Spirit of God moved in the waters. Two on the earth was without form, and void, and there was darkness upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Genesis 1, 2. See, that God during creation was not alone. It was the Father, the Spirit, and the Verb. And the Word made flesh and well between us. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. I John 1 14. There is no doubt that God is Trinity. And the Word of God says that. Jesus Christ was the Verb. All of us who have some knowledge of the Portuguese language know that the Verb is an action. Any action can be combined in how many people are involved in the action. In the case of the Holy Trinity, the Verb is always conjugated in the First person plural. We. We are making this analogy of the verb to understand that the plan of salvation also involved God in its fullness. Every divine body was involved in creation, and also in the plan of salvation. As the Father took the initiative of the plan, sent the Son to rescue humanity, after the Son has rescued mankind, Trinity sent the Holy Spirit to dwell in every being that was rescued by the Son. That is why our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Today's text is a specific study on the Holy Spirit. In chapter 16 of John's Gospel, from verse 7 to verse 16, Jesus Christ is speaking exactly of his need to ascend to heaven so that the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, come and take his place. In verse 7 he reports thus, Let's go on to heaven, for if I will not, the Consolator will not come to you, but if it will, I will send you it. Look at the logical sequence of attitudes within the plan of salvation. In verse 8 he clarifies that when Spirit comes, he has a duty to convince the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. In verse 9 he uses the expression, from sin, because you do not believe me. That is to say, that the greatest sin that exists is not to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. From sin, because they do not believe in me. For justice, because I go to my Father, and shall not see me. More, I will not be here better to teach you about justice. Then the Holy Spirit will teach you justice. The judgment, because the priceless of this world is already judged. See, the judgment that God has prepared is for the devil, and also for those who are with him. But those who are in Christ, the Word of God says, that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. In verse 13 he says that the Holy Spirit will guide us in all truth. For he will not speak of himself, but he will speak all that he has heard. And he will tell you what is to come. In verse 14 Jesus said, He will glorify me, for he will receive that he is mine, will tell you to announce. This means that the Holy Spirit will follow the guidelines of the Lord. Jesus, and will tell us all that the Lord Jesus will pass on to him. 
In verse 15 Jesus clarifies that the Spirit will speak of what comes from Jesus, because what Jesus passes on to the Holy Spirit, he receives from the Father. In verse 16 he tries to explain the situation, a little and you will not see me, and again, a little, and you will see me, because I go to my Father, but I will come back. Dear brothers in Christ, we have the www.libertasploemerdecristo.com.br We understand the mission of the Father, the mission of the Son, and the mission of the Holy Spirit. We are open to receive the Holy Spirit in our life, and to follow the guidelines that the Holy Spirit gives us, because we know that the Holy Spirit receives the guidance of the Lord Jesus, which, in turn, receives